sounds, that could only be the musical stylings of Victor Oladipo, yeah. who is the reigning two-time champion of the uh, All-Star Weekend uh, player uh, 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 talent show. You are talented. I give you a yeah. little credit on that. A lot Thank of credit. You. You're very talented. I mean, you're not a karaoke guy like me, but you can ask me. Oh. Uh, you know they call me old brown eyes, right? <laughs> as a matter of fact, Gee. as a matter of fact, uh, you both have experience singing New York, New York. His was uh, at the slam dunk contest. Yours was in Vegas. Yes. We had the show out there. Here's just a little sampling. I, see, I love to do karaoke. That's good, isn't it? You see those two mics back there? You made up your own words. You see those Wait, that was the words? Hey. In old New York? Yeah. A long you know, on the back side, Isaiah Thomas. But um, it's just going to be, you know, they're going to give it a run. But, right. you know, it's just going to be hard to beat the Cavs right now. What they're on top of the game. Yeah, I got to go with the majority. Right. Um, you know, they're, they're on a mission right now. You know, they, I guess they want to show the public that last year wasn't a fluke for us. Yeah. Um, you know, we're here, we're for real, we're for real team. Speaking of showing us, two chains, you got a shot, two chains. Huh. Got a shot, let me see that shot, dog. Speaking huh. of showing Scooch. us, two chains, you got a shot, let me see that shot. Speaking of showing us, two chains, you got a shot, two chains. Got a shot, let me see that shot, dog. Speaking of showing us, two chains, you got a shot, two chains. Got a shot, let me see that shot, dog. Exactly how you have to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king. Uh, but it's been, it's, been a, it's been a heck of a ride, to be honest. Um, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, I was kind of, uh, I was a little down. I, I found out I was injured and I had to have surgery again or, and, you know, you know, with another knee. But at the end of the day, you know, I have, I have amazing teammates, you know, guys like Draymond, everybody on this team, they, they, they come over there, they wrap their hands around me like, yo. I'm sorry. Wipe the drill. I was in a trance. Yeah, wipe the drill there. In covertly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. And I was very proud of that. Did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? And how did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Get a bit closer. You're like an ant. 
Get back, Dave. 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 Fans, she's not going to do anything to you. She's not going to do anything to you. Bye, Gaga. Bye, Gaga. Well, get away for that. I love you. You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, weird. Hello. Um. Oh my goodness. Hello. Ew. Strong Brittany. Um. Yeah, it was a weird. Can we? People of Australia and of our show, we were very empathetic about what happened and very sort of horrified. And so we were wondering, how is everyone going and how's Kim doing? Um, what? Okay. I'm sorry, is there someone talking to you? Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how everyone's doing. In. Hello, Courtney, have you, have we lost you? Yeah, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's a good, uh, <laughs> a good day to die. I... But I, I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It, that, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich and let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah, die hard. That, that would have been at your chosen That's, time. Well, it's about, I don't, it makes about as much sense. A good, <laughs> or maybe a, there is a good day to die hard. Yeah. Harbor, Michigan, and uh, what a pleasure for Harvey and me to introduce Marshall Mather. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. But folks, I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. It's headed for the top of the charts. Was that the great Rick Rubin who was uh, helping produce that with you, uh, Marshall, when you did that? Yeah, sorry. Live TV. <laughs> Live TV freaks me out a little bit. No. Um, yes, I'm sorry. What was the question? This is unreal. I'm supposed to start talking. I'm sorry. I'm sick. On behalf of this fearless and talented cast, uh, we would like to thank... Oh, it's so heavy. Uh, we'd like to thank Netflix, uh, Sean, Matt, Ross, and the amazing casting director, Carmen Cuba. Um, <laughs> And I would just like to say that in light of all that's going on in the world today, it's difficult to celebrate the already celebrated Stranger Things. But this award from you, who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world, is a call to arms from our fellow craftsmen and women to go deeper and through our art to battle against fear, self-centeredness, and exclusivity of our predominantly narcissistic culture and through our craft to cultivate a more empathetic and understanding society Society by revealing intimate truths that serve as a forceful reminder to folks that when they feel broken and afraid and tired, they are not alone. We are united in that we are all human beings and we are all together on this horrible, painful, joyous, exciting, and mysterious ride that is being alive. Now, as we act in the continuing narrative of Stranger Things, we 1983 Midwesters will repel bullies. We will shelter freak. And it's a, a big culture of uh, mind control too. MK Ultra mind control rules in Hollywood. If, if you don't know, Google that and look into it. 